Hi, this is Bill Watkins. We're going back to the theme of temptation again in James chapter 1, verse 12, where James says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. I find it interesting, that crown. When you look back in the days of James' writings, you're going to find that there were those who at times of feast or weddings were a crown of flowers to indicate their joy. That those who won in the games wore a crown of laurel leaves to indicate that they were the victors. That the kings and nobles would wear crowns of gold and silver of precious metals, sometimes with stones in them to indicate their dignity and honor. But for the Christian, there's something better. It's the crown, which is life itself. And it's all the things that everything else, those crowns meant and more. It's joy. It's dignity and honor that we will rule as a king rules. We are the royalty of God, and we have won. When we receive that crown, it's a celebration. God has a crown for you. Now, how do you get that crown? Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved. We go through temptation so that we might be approved. We endure it and triumph over it so that we might be approved. Whatever the trial in your life, however painful it might be right now, just remember the crown you're going to receive is worth all the pain, all the difficulty, all the heartache that this time of temptation might offer. God is putting us in this moment so that when that time comes, we will be ready. So face these temptations. The crown of life is worth it. Thank you.